let's get started on this do-it-yourself mermaid crown. So these are all the different things I bought at my local Joann's Fabrics and a bunch of it, all these items right here were on clearance, so that was kind of awesome. And I got a ton of seashells so that I could do the exact design that I wanted. Now the tools that you need that are standard are your hot glue gun, a visor, which you can also get at Joann's, and some cutting tools. So the first thing I did was use a seam ripper to remove the brim of the visor from the rest of the hat. And once I was done with that, I just took the brim piece right out and was left with an open seam. So when you have that open seam, all you need to do is you can either sew it closed or you can use a hot glue gun. And I just used a hot glue gun because it was out and it was ready. And the nice thing about this is that the visor already has lining in it, so it's gonna be nice and sturdy for those shells. So this is the design I decided on, and I played around with it for a while, and you'll notice that it's not glued on yet. I wanted to make sure I liked my design before I started to glue anything. So now that I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and glue all these pieces on layer by layer. So here's the first layer, and I was careful to glue the shells on the sides, and then I stuck a pearl underneath each shell and put glue around the pearl to keep the shells on. So here I am after I've done all my big shell pieces, and they've cooled down, and then I added all the smaller pieces, and I noticed that if I put a basketball underneath it, it helps the visor to kind of curl around your head so that it won't be straight. You want it to be a little bit rounded so it'll fit on your head well. And then I added these little pearl pieces to all the open gaps on the bottom, and this is the final result. So basically, just find some fun stuff, glue it on your visor, and you're good to go. Now, there's one more thing I did. I decided that I wanted to add some copper. So this is called, I think it's called brush copper. Yeah, and it's from Folk Art. And I just painted it right on the fabric, the white sides, to make it match those bronze pieces. And then I also painted the shell in the front. So this is my final result. Let me know if you try it and how it works out for you.